2020 has been a big year for Motorola already. First its own foldable phone, the Motorola Razr, and now we have the Motorola Edge Plus. The Edge Plus isn't just a rebranded Z series phone, it's a fresh start for the company's product line. This is a device pushed to the extremes and which can compete with the best such as Samsung Galaxy and Apple handsets. Motorola has furnished the Edge Plus with many elements from the leading flagships. The screen is carved over the sides like the waterfall display from the Samsung Galaxy S20 and Samsung Galaxy Note 10 lines of phones. It doesn't have an IP water and dust resistance rating, but Motorola claims its design is water repellent. And of course, it contains one of the rarest of features on a flagship phone, a 3.5mm headphone jack. The display is 6.7 inch full HD plus OLED panel, its large, sharp and the endless edge sides are very attractive. The display's 21 by 9 aspect ratio makes this phone feel narrow, meaning some people may find it awkward to use one-handed. Like many other flagship phones in 2020, you can set the edge plus to light up its sides when receiving notification. Another great feature is the 90Hz refresh rate, meaning smooth video and gameplay. The phone's specs are top tier, from its Snapdragon 865 chipset to the 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. The Motorola H Plus packs a traditional quad rear camera setup. The star of the show is the 108MP main shooter, which can use pixel binning tech that reduces the megapixel count while effectively expanding the size of each pixel to let in more light. The phone also has an 8MP telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom and a 16MP ultra-wide camera as well as a time-of-flight depth sensor to enable bokeh effect in portrait shots. The main shooter can also capture video in 6K UHD. Pictures taken with this device looks great with rich color and great dynamic range. On the front there is a 25MP camera for selfies which delivers great picture quality. The H Plus is also 5G capable. It packs a 5000mAh battery and Motorola claims it will last for up to 2 days. Sadly, the H Plus max out at 18W charging, which has been the case with the previous Motorola phones. It also supports 15W fast wireless charging and 5W reverse wireless charging. The Xiaomi Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro look very similar with the screens that carve at the edges and that are broken up by punch hole cutout cameras in the top left of the display. On the back there's a camera bump in the top left corner. These phones have a 6.67 inch OLED screen with HDR10 Plus support and a screen refresh rate of 90Hz to make content and motion look a bit smoother. The Xiaomi Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro both run on the top end Snapdragon 865 chipset paired with 12GB of RAM and 512GB of storage options, that chipset has an adjacent 5G modem. One of the most important features of the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro is the 108MP main camera which take fantastic pictures and supports 8K video recording like the Samsung Galaxy S20 series. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro has a 20MP ultra-wide camera and two telephoto lenses. One of these is 8MP and supports 10x hybrid zoom and the other is 12MP with 2x optical zoom which is used for portrait mode. Pictures taken with the phone looks great and delivers great dynamic range and color accuracy. It also have a 20MP front facing camera which is a pretty decent resolution for selfie snapper. It comes with 4500mAh battery capacity. This phone has a 50W fast charging, 30W wireless charging and 10W reverse wireless charging which lets you use the device as a wireless power mat for other devices. Xiaomi has a reputation for producing quality phones at affordable prices and Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro 5G is another example of that. The Galaxy S20 Ultra is Samsung's biggest Android phone and it lives up to its name. It is the first Samsung phone with a 120Hz display which is designed to deliver smoother motion when you are scrolling and especially playing games. You can also toggle between 60Hz and 120Hz in settings which will come in handy if you want to save battery life. Samsung's 6.9 inch display will push the boundaries of your finger's reach but it won't feel much bigger than the S10 Plus. Its width is actually a little smaller than the 6.8 inch Note 10 Plus and 6.7 inch Galaxy S10 5G. It's just that the Galaxy S20 Ultra is noticeably taller, not wider, expanding to a 20 by 9 aspect ratio. You can still grip it with one hand and shove it in a deep enough jeans pocket. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is made of glass and aluminium and it is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 6. The specs of this smartphone rival the likes of laptops, meaning it's more than you will ever need. 
The internal specs are all top of the line, a 7 nanometer chipset, Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 in the US or Samsung's Exynos 990 in the UK and Europe, 16 GB of RAM, 512 GB of internal storage and a micro SD card slot for expandable storage. The app's performance are silky smooth. The S20 Ultra isn't a pure gaming phone but it matches the Asus ROG Phone 2 and Razer Phone 2 with a silky smooth 120Hz refresh rate. The S20 Ultra has a 108MP 1.8 aperture main camera, a 48MP 3.5 aperture telephoto camera and a 12MP 2.2 aperture ultra wide camera. There's also a time of flight depth camera on the back aiding portrait photos and 3D scans and a 40MP selfie camera on the front. It's Samsung's biggest camera sensor upgrade since the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. The main 108MP camera delivers great quality pictures with stunning details. The camera performed well in almost every light condition. The telephoto lens is capable of 10x lossless zoom and a crazy 100x space zoom. Pictures from the selfie camera delivers great dynamic range and quality. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra camera introduces 8K resolution video recording and steady stabilization. 8K is going to allow you to crop and edit video without sacrificing quality while the 4K will give you more frame rate and zoom options. Samsung's super fast charging returns on the S20 Ultra up to 45W with an optional charger and 25W with the charger included in the box. It also supports 15W fast wireless charging. Samsung equipped this phone with a massive 5000mAh battery which is the biggest in a Galaxy S series device. Samsung Galaxy S20 has a lot of potential. Samsung promised something amazing will happen in 2020 and here it is. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra is a big smartphone in every dimension. In fact, it's not far off from the Samsung's recently released Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The Mi 10 Ultra is heavy and can be cumbersome if you don't have big hands and deep pockets. Xiaomi went with a glass sandwich design with aluminium rails and carved glass on both sides. On the front, there's a full-size display with a punch hole in the top left and a speaker grill above the glass. The Mi 10 Ultra is not IP certified, which is unfortunate. Other phones at this price point, particularly those from Apple and Samsung, offer protection from water and dust. Xiaomi opted for a 6.67 inch Full HD Plus 120Hz OLED panel instead of a Quad HD Plus screen. At this price, I don't think this is a problem given there are many amazing tech that's packed into the device. The panel is smooth and fast as well as vibrant with deep contrast. If you don't like the excellent adaptive color setting, you can change it in the comprehensive display settings menu. Brightness was quite good even under direct sunlight, the Mi 10 Ultra was easily viewable. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra skips the fresh Snapdragon 865 Plus in favor of the regular 865. Either way, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra is very fast. I didn't have a single performance problem in my week with this device. I played lots of games, took many photos and did a lot of multitasking. I just couldn't get the Mi 10 Ultra to stutter. I think it's fair to say that whatever you do on your phone will be light work for this device. It comes with 8, 12 or 16 GB of RAM depending on the variation. Camera wise the Mi 10 Ultra comes with a quad camera setup. There's the main 48 megapixel main camera, a 20 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 12 megapixel portrait camera and finally a 120x ultra zoom camera. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra takes punchy and contrast heavy images with a fair amount of dynamic range. This device seems to be able to capture white balance well. On dull days the phone took dull photos, on bright days the phone took bright photos. The Mi 10 Ultra's biggest photographic feature is its zoom functionality. Samsung offered 100x zoom in the S20 Ultra but the Xiaomi is offering 120x in the Mi 10 Ultra. I found the Mi 10 Ultra's night mode to be one of the worst I have ever encountered on a flagship smartphone. It struggled with flares, captured very little detail and was overall rather disappointing. On the front, there is a single 20 megapixel camera for selfie duties. The Mi 10 Ultra takes some decent selfies but there is a fair amount of skin smoothing going on. Selfie portrait mode photos seem to look rather realistic. The Mi 10 Ultra's video is average at best. It's got 8K video at 24fps alongside the standard USD 60fps mode. There's also a 960fps slow motion mode. On the surface, the Mi 10 Ultra's battery is an average size for this class of smartphone. It's a 4500mAh cell in a device with 5 cameras, a power-hungry chipset and a big high refresh rate display. 
Xiaomi software, however, works aggressively in the background, killing applications and optimizing power users to deliver good battery life. The device charged from 0 to 100% in just 21 minutes in our testing. It includes 120W fast charging. It also comes with 50W wireless charging and 10W reverse wireless charging. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is the most advanced big screen phone so far because it's much more than a phone. It's a highly evolved note taking device. Samsung has made its most elegant looking phone yet with the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. The squared of edges combined with the sophisticated mystic bronze color give this handset a corner of his vibe. The finish does a good job of resisting fingerprints. The massive 6.9 inch OLED Quad HD Plus display on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is big, bold and colorful. More importantly, this is the first Samsung phone to offer a dynamic 120Hz refresh rate. The display is exceedingly bright and is fairly easy to read in direct sunlight. When using the display, scrolling is super smooth and fast. You can always choose 60Hz manually if you want to save battery life. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra features triple rear camera setup plus a laser autofocus sensor. The camera array starts with a 108MP wide camera with a 1.8 aperture and it's paired with a 12MP ultra wide camera with a 120 degree field of view. The 12MP telephoto lens delivers a 5x optical zoom and up to a 50x super resolution zoom. The zoom lens delivers amazing quality. Every time you zoom into something, you will be surprised by the distance it covered and the details it captured. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra's night mode is good but it's not quite as bright or colorful as the iPhone 11 Pro. Pictures taken with this device deliver stunning quality with great details and colors. The Note 20 Ultra delivered better results than the iPhone 11 Pro in close-up shots. If you want to record the sharpest video possible, you will be pleased to know that the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra can record 8K video with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. There's also a new Pro Video mode that lets you control the focus, exposure and zoom speed. The 12 megapixel selfie camera up front has a 120 degree field of view which should come in handy for group selfies. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra benefits from a swift 9ms response time for its S Pen which is designed to deliver more of a pen to paper feel when taking notes or drawing. It's one of the fastest Android phones around and it's one of the first handsets with Qualcomm Snapdragon's 865 Plus processor. This chipset boosts the clock speed by up to 10% to 3.1 GHz and the graphics is also 10% faster than the regular Snapdragon 865 chip inside the Galaxy S20. This processor is paired with 12 GB of RAM and either 128 GB or 512 GB of internal storage. As you would expect from a premium flagship, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra supports both flavors of 5G. You will also appreciate the improved DeX experience, which is now completely wireless. Now you can beam what's on your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra screen to a compatible smart TV. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra packs a pretty beefy 4500 mAh battery, which held up well in daily use. It comes with 25W fast charging. It also supports wireless charging and 9W reverse wireless charging. It offers a best-in-class display, a better S Pen experience and a boatload of new features for work and play. The cameras are stellar, fixing the focusing problem with the Galaxy S20 Ultra and the powerful zoom and Xbox gameplay give the Note 20 Ultra an advantage over the upcoming iPhone 12.